still moving on and experiencing the life of uh, reptiles and snakes. Uh, it's a very scary place, but so uh, you, you can enjoy it. Eh? It's a very nice place for adventure. I'm with Mr. Lawrence Rutaya. Lawrence Rutaya, away. I'm seeing a very black snake. Yeah. Why don't you open for me? I want to enter. Um, because, because so far up we have covered like um, three species. Okay. If you remember. We, we had, had a python. Yes. We had uh, the, the, the uh, two types of cobra. Yes. Yes. I remember them very well. Yes. Then Even yeah. this one is a cobra. Okay. But this one is a bit unique. Why? Uh, because of its behavior. Mm. That's why it is even alone here. How many snakes are there? Uh, it is just only one. One snake? Yes. Like this, why? Yes. Um, the reason why it is in inside the just around, okay. uh, it's because of its behaviors and nature. Mm. Behaviors and nature? Yes. Wow. So, um, okay, we're still moving on. Let him first pick a phone and then we go on to continue to see what's different about this unique snake. Now, how you said it's. it's yeah, it's, it's still a cobra mm. and it's a bit unique with its behaviors. Okay. How are they unique? Mm. One, uh, those one, the one we have covered up, okay. they are, for them, the way how okay. they defend themselves, they normally raise the hood mm. to warn you okay. first. Then if you insist, if you come closer or if you keep on like disturbing them, okay. that is the time they will do the action of yeah. yeah. So this one, it has two options of uh, defending itself. One. One, when you still fight, can still harm you by spitting in your eyes. Hey. Yes. The, the, uh, the, the, the salivas yes. are very poisonous. Yes. Just spitting on you yes. is enough. It is actually, it is not a saliva, but it's a real venom. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, when you come closer, it again do the same. It can even bite. Mm. Uh, this is the one which is well known as the black naked spitting cobra. Mm. It is one of the unique type of a cobra we have here in Uganda. It could be when it is your first time to see it, okay. or it can be your last time to see it. So, it is very hard to come closer, like when it is in nature, mm. uh, to be near to it, then you see all the features. But in this place of ours, because there is a glass, mm. you can see all the features. So at the moment I enter here, it just spits on me? Yes. And that spitting, it can make you become blind mm. permanently. Okay. Because of the unique <coughs> venom it has, which don't is you called, die? Um, you don't die, mm. but it affects you that you stop seeing from there. Okay. Then and then. No treatment. Mm. Uh, treatment is there. Mm. Basically, I'm ta I'm talking to those one who don't know, like the first aid. Mm. But those one who knows what to do, um, it can still affect you, but it is just for a short time, period okay. of time. Mm. So um, I was still explaining that. Uh, it has a different type of venom compared to those one which is up, mm. which are up. Okay. Um, it has a venom which is called a cytotoxic. What does it mean? Cytotoxic, it is a type of a venom. I will lead it to something like uh, as if you're being burnt by a boiled water or okay. an acid. Yeah, you get bruises, eh? Yes, yeah. you get bruises in a case where it has beaten you, mm. then the body set to swell. Mm. Uh, I will let, I could use mints like every after five minutes, okay. the body will continue to swell. So if it is spritz in your eyes, then you start rubbing your eyes mm. because we all know the layer uh, which is covering our eyes, it is very light. Okay. So because that acid, it is in a form, because of that venom, it is in a form of an acid. Mm. So when you keep on rubbing, you create that... Um, uh, you create something which is which is going to uh, there is that uh, um, how can I call it because it is an acid and you are rubbing okay you are going, yeah. going to get friction yeah, exactly. at the same time that caffeine that layer will go away uh, it will be burnt okay I am getting it yeah it will be burnt then um, it will stop like sending message uh, so that you will be able to see. to see so if I am to ask another sim simple question mm. So, how do you control yourself with this thing? How do you feed it? Because it's alone here. You just throw something? So, first of all, before we proceed to that question, if it is spit in your eyes, what do you do? I don't know. Uh, normally, you have to use anything in a liquid form. Okay. Then you start like rinsing in your eyes. That's water. That's water, mm. urine, beer, soda. Anything. Anything. Mm. So, uh, because if it is spit in your eyes, your eyes turn into a reddish color. Okay. That is when the body is trying to uh, to react to react with, the, uh, with, the, with the venom. Yes. Okay. So um, the way how we do the feeding here, we open 
then you have to be with the glasses mm. we have the glasses normally we use when we are like to go in okay. because again we have to clean we have to slash in we have to change the waters and uh, the branches mm. yeah so um we have to wear all those gadgets when you're going in okay. yeah because uh, we know the way how the snake behaves. This type of a snake, it is basically like to move on the ground. But those ones up, they prefer to be up than on the ground. So is it serious? Um, snakes, they have a poor sight. Okay. Most of them. Few snakes have a perfect sight. Mm. So they are normally move with, um, when you move from here up to there, so it use that. The vibration? Yes. So they get everything through a vibration form. In the stomach? Yes. Okay. Using their belly. Mm. So, but they have a poor side. Wow. It's a very great story with Mr. Rutaya. Yeah. He's trying to explain to us how they survive with these snakes. Let me come close and see. Do you have another snakes here? Yes. Okay. We are seeing others here. I'm seeing some green ones. Yes. In Uganda, we call them Bunalong. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> these, are the, these are not the Bunalong we all know. Mm. But I think we can use that. Let's use this side here. Yeah. Because Hey, you have some of this, mate. Mm -hmm. So these are the ones that are known as the mamba. Black mamba? No. Mm. When you talk of a mamba, very many people will think it's a black mamba, uh, green mamba. So these are not green mamba, these are not black mamba. Yeah. These are the ones which are well known as the Jameson's mamba. Okay. So they are in a family of a mamba. Yeah. Although when you talk of a mamba, very many people will think it's a black mamba okay so uh the one which are inside these are one which are well known as the jameson's mamba they basically commonly seen everywhere uh in uganda mm. because we all know most part of the country is very green mm. and they prefer to be in a green environment like in the plantations okay. banana plantations mm. there is those one which people normally relate to this one, which are called the, the Bunawandagala. Okay. Yes, these are not the Bunawandagala because when you look at these ones, mm. uh, the tail is black. Yeah. But the Bunawandagala, the tail is uh, fully green. Fully green. Yes, those yeah. are the ones which are known as the Bunawandagala. Those are the ones which are called in English the Emlands and the Butterbees. Okay. Yes. So this one, they are not the Bunawandagala or they are not the the butter bell, these are the Jameson's mamba mm. and they are actually highly venomous. Seriously? Yes. Can you come close? Highly venomous. Venomous? Yes. How long do you take to die? <laughs> uh, I will take you back to the point which I told you in the beginning that it is the way you panic mm. that is the way how we can start like tell that this person is going to take like 5 minutes to 10 but I will say 30 minutes is enough for you to die? Yes. So how many snakes are here? There are seven of them. Seven of them? Yes. Wow, that's great. Okay, you're still enjoying the snake park. Are you going to be privileged? Let's go into another snake and then you see other things. <coughs> Thank you.
working on uh, the Uganda reptile village. We are moving around to see how beautiful Uganda is. Make sure you come and visit Uganda wherever you are from any continent. Uh, we, are, we are exploiting some of the snakes you're having in this country. And this is, the, this is called the, the Sadambo. Yeah, hey, that's Sadambo. how I know it. Okay, can you tell us about it? Um, right now here we have this, uh, we have two different species in. Okay. So they can sit together. Mm. Uh, we have the one which is known as the Gaboni Viper. Okay. Known as locally as Salamba Chitwe. Okay. Uh, when you talk of a Viper, mm. uh, basically people could think of the, the one which is known as Rhinoceros. It has something like a horn on the head. Mm. We have the Gaboni Viper which is in and the um, Pafada. Where do you go to Gabon Viper? Uh, that is its name. Okay. Yeah, that is its name. I thought it came from Gabon. Mm -hmm. No. Yes. Actually, even in Gabon, there are very many, but okay. that is its name. Mm. Yeah. So, so this is the Salambo I always see here. Listen to. Yes. So that is the Salambo. They say it has Mpoto. It has Mpoto. Mm. Um, they know Mpoto, but that is its nature. Mm. Yes, because it's an Okitano. Mm. And most of the time, people always meet it during the day. Okay. Yeah. So uh, at times you could be in a garden, then you find it, or you could be slashing somewhere. Because for it, it's an octano, mm. it will keep on like relaxing. Mm. So for you, you could take it that you see in too. Mm. And it is very slow on the ground. Okay. Yeah, you have to first disturb it so that it can move a bit faster. Mm, I've seen you disturb it. Yes. So um, you can leave it there and you go to, let me say, to Kampara, then you come back, then you go there, then you find it in the same place. The same place. Okay. So uh, Salambua, uh, it is in a family of um, a viper. Mm. So as I've told you that basically most of people, they know only three Salambuas or mm. vipers. Okay. Yet we have more than uh, seven types of viper. Okay. Yes, there's the scaled bush viper and so on. Okay. But those are the ones which are commonly known. And here, um, we have uh, one type of uh, Salambua, that is the Gaboni viper. So this is the type of a snake with a lot of venom in the body, mm. which is uh, equivalent to a 300 mils of, um, let me say, a uh, Coca-Cola drink. Oh, sorry to use that. Eh, 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 it's, it's, a venom. it's venom. It is equivalent to a 300, a 300 mils bottle. Yes. This small bottle of a soda. Yes, yes. Ah. So that is the kind of a venom it has. When it is fully grown. If it starts to spit. It, this one they don't spit. Uh, they just bite. And again, this is the type of a snake with the longest teeth, which is approximately five centimeters. Wow, like this? Yes, or two inch. Mm. And it is in a hooked form. Okay. So you can imagine, if it bites you, and it is stick on you, then it starts injecting venom, because mm. we have now noticed that it is the one with a lot of venom among all the snakes. Okay. So, if it starts injecting, can you survive? You may not. So you need to come into this place of ours, then you teach you the way how you can survive in case you... Because you have said to... this something is biting you. Yeah, so you have said that if it, it, if it hooks you like this. Yes. It so that's why they said we hook water kule merako. Yes. Roku ba manyo ga dobo we ga ti. Ga kule kule ba bulogi. Yes. The fangs that are hooked. Mm. So when it bites you, it is sticking you. It keep on injecting venom, injecting venom. Okay. So during that time of fighting you, you are fighting the snake is fighting to pull out the fangs. Okay. At times those fangs they break in you. So uh, the more they break in you, then what next? Uh, you have to remove the fangs, uh -huh. then you find a solution. The solution is to go to the hospital. So or is it as there as it is there? Yeah. Do you have an, another, another solution of like immunizing them, vaccinating, so that they don't become mm -hmm. very, very poisonous? Uh, for us in this place, we don't do that. Basically, we keep the snake like the way how it is. You rehabilitate it? Yeah. So these are only two? Yeah, there are two. And again, this is a snake which just give live babies. Oh, it's Alabuzaz? Yes, it's Alabuzaz. It's one, uh, like, Kupaku Kumi, Kwasa, at times, you call a Navy Kodika these days. Mm. This are up to 60. So is it pregnant? Um, that one is expecting soon. Oh. Mm. That one is pregnant? Eh? Yeah, Kupatu Haji Funange, already a little bit. Okay. Mm. That's nice. Wow, we've been enjoying the talk. Uh, let's move to the to the crocodiles, eh? Yeah. Okay.